This video is intended to be a tutorial uh, to help people through the process of setting up the uh, e-giving through the Bethlehem Lutheran Church website. Uh, just a quick note before we get started in, uh, in going about this is we find that the e-giving is helpful, especially in times like we're dealing with right now where uh, the ability to get to church has been uh, hindered quite a bit. And um, for some people, it certainly is best that they, it might be the best option that they uh, contribute to the needs of the church through, through e-giving. Uh, the needs of the church don't change during this time. Um, the lights still have to be on. The uh, uh, people still need to be paid. Uh, and we still need um, uh, the means by which then to serve both the saints of Bethlehem and our community both with God's word and his sacrament, as well as seeing to the temporal need of daily bread. Bethlehem is going to be about that work in the long run. And so um, right now we need your support as much, if not more, than ever. And so uh, we wanted to set up an, a way that you can be able to give through e-giving. Uh, and I wanted to set up some time that we can talk through this here. Uh, and you can see... Um, what, what we do and how we, how we set this up. So we begin, best place to begin here, as you'll see here on the screen, is with just regular website, and you go up to the, the search bar there, the, the URL bar, and I'm just gonna put in Bethlehem's um, website, um, and you can see it there, BethlehemOssian.org. Uh, you see the website there, and you'll see uh, we got several tabs here up on the top. Uh, you want to find the e-giving tab and click on it. Now, this will bring you up a full page. There's a little bit of uh, stuff before we have the link. The link's right there. Uh, but you'll also see if you go down a little bit farther, below the SGO donations for the school scholarship, we have step-by-step -step instruction on, on putting this together. Uh, so you can see all the steps there laid out. And then you can also see frequently asked questions that may come up. Direct your attention back up to the top here. Click on this link. Click here to go to Vanco Secure Site for Online Giving. So I just mentioned this is a secure site. And it will bring you right to here. Uh, and you have a couple options here. The first thing you can do is you can set up uh, a uh, profile. Or if you already have a profile, this is the place where you'd log in. You don't have to do that. You can actually do the giving simply through setting it up here. And you go to the example, you've got several different categories here, just like we have normally in our operating budget. And then um, you want to just put in the number. So we'll put $100 in for home fund. And then if you have this idea of designated giving, if there's a specific program uh, or need to the church that you want to designate the gift to, um, you simply just put in the amount and then you put in right there uh, what it is, so something like VBS, okay, or or if you wanted to, to contribute to the to the supplies for the fish fry, you can put in fish fry, okay. So after you've got that all set up, it'll total out your amount, so you can give in any of those categories or all of those categories, and it'll total out your amount, and then you go down to here, this click on this tab, and then you have option of one time gift, a weekly gift, or a monthly gift. So I'm going to click on one time here, and then you actually put donation start date would be. 32220 okay and you can also click on the calendar and that'll help you out just so you know there is there is a fee that goes along with this for every time there is a transaction and so to to make note of that that if you give uh, a gift monthly then the transaction fee will be just once a month okay so then after you click on that it'll go to donation information um, and there's where you can put in your uh, information and you'll see the red ones are the required fields. So just for example, we'll put in John Doe, address, you know, 123, put in your, you know what your address is, 123 Street. Uh, and then, uh, of course, your city and your state. Those are the required things. Your email is actually not required for this, uh, this part for the donation information. Uh, it, it, the requirements under your account type or your giving type will be a little bit different about what's required there. So you can put in all that information, just fill it out, including an email address uh, if you have one for that. And then you'll see down there below 
you have account type, how you want to give. So you can give through the credit or debit card, or you can also give through your checking, and it lays out right there what needs to be doing. And also through savings, uh, and there you have to contact your financial institution for the routing number. So credit, credit, debit card, and checking are your two probably best options. And then, of course, you fill that out just like you'd fill out anything with your credit card number, expiration date, and all that with the billing address. Uh, then you got the option if you'd like to save all that information to a profile so you can come back and do it um, and you won't have to fill out everything um, like that and then basically just select a password. Click I'm not a robot if you're not a robot and then you hit process and it should be going through just fine. Uh, again, just to note this is a secure site and um, it'll be uh, your, your transaction is, is as secure as doing any sort of um, uh, kind of giving online. Also, if you're not comfortable or not familiar enough with giving online, we do want to say too, if you can't be here to give your tithe uh, or to give your offering to the church, it's perfectly acceptable to mail your offering, mail a check um, to the church. Um, if you go to our website and you need the address, it's right there on contact, uh, Bethlehem Lutheran Church, 6514 East, 750 North Austin, Indiana. Uh, you can also click, I'll just note here, there's a click for our, uh, a link for our Facebook page. So if you go to the Facebook page, that's really important. If you're not uh, uh, signed up with Facebook, or you can actually even still go to the page, even if you're not signed up with Facebook. Uh, but if you are, you can like uh, Bethlehem Lutheran Church to get uh, updates and announcements as we put them forward. We're putting forward a lot of this change and everything via both our email list and through our website. Uh, or through our Facebook page, I should say. It's a little easier to update the Facebook page than it is to update the website. That being the case, too, I also want to note that we uh, are continuing to provide our live streaming. Uh, and there you simply go to our Facebook or our YouTube channel. There'll be a link on the Facebook page. There's a link on the website for that as well. Uh, and if you can get to our YouTube channel, uh, you can click on a subscribe and click on a notification bell there and that will be very helpful for uh, any time there's a live stream and you can also, all those things are archived so you can go back and watch them at your convenience if you can't watch them in person um, or in, a, in the same time that we are watch, we're, we're doing the service. We'll be doing that a lot more and we're adding a lot more services that will be live streamed, um, a lot more prayer offices and things of that nature that we'll be able to live stream just to kind of fill up, fill up your browser uh, and uh, with, the, uh, with the Word of God. So again, the main point with this was for the tutorial so that we kind of went through how we set up and how we go about the e-giving. Uh, if you have any questions concerning it at all, you can of course uh, email the church or, or call the church. Uh, you can also uh, uh, just get in contact with me uh, and I can be able to help you out with that as best as we can. Uh, again, this is simply to just lay out the financial giving for the church. Uh, we do also know that this is a time that we are continuing to love our neighbor in many and various ways uh, as we seek their good. And so, uh, again, just contact the church if you have any questions or anything regarding that. Uh, and otherwise, may God grant you his peace at this time. God bless you.